trip at Aero Hotel. This is our second uh, hotel so far. We're planning to try to buy a third one anytime <laughs> soon. Uh, kind of having a, a green uh, chain of hotels in Paris. Oh, nice. Uh, is there a salon in here? Yes. We have a tea. That's the second one we just bought, yes, and we're trying to make it as green as uh, the first one we, we own, the Hotel Gavarni. And uh, it's about, a new challenge, yes. What kind, of a, what kind of a process is that, like making a green hotel, since you're doing this one from scratch and you already took one through the process? Uh, it's actually easier the second time because uh, we know already the process. So it's uh, energy, uh, the garbage, uh, to find some uh, suppliers that are as green as we are. Do you work off of a checklist? I mean, do yes, you... Yes, we do have, for two reasons. First, because I guess it's the only way to, to work properly. The second reason is that uh, the Eco Label, the Eco Label European, European Eco Label, is um, requiring a lot of uh, papers to prove what you're doing. And, uh, is that, you know, I, as an American, we're not too familiar, or even as a North American, we're not too familiar with the European Eco Label. Eco -label. Yeah, is that from is that issued European Union wide? Or? Yes, all the countries of uh, European Union uh, have the same label, same criteria. So it's about uh, 84 criteria: energy, water consumption, uh, suppliers, organic food, uh, really everything. And you have to pass through this process. And uh, part of it is uh, um, how you do, so how you control. Uh, that's why I was mentioning papers, paperwork. And uh, that's, that helps actually.